What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video we will discuss the three things that make a good data scientist and we will go beyond the technical and non-technical skills required. We will also share some practical examples to better understand what makes a good data scientist. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're new to my channel and you're passionate about data science, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and enabling notifications for my future videos. Right, the first feature now is that a good data scientist is obsessed with problem solving and his or her ability to turn data into valuable insights. An example is the following. Assuming you work in an organization and your manager gives you one Excel file like this one with some raw data and asks you to do some analysis on it in order to assist the marketing team, let's say. That's all he is asking. He's not asking you about a specific piece of analysis, just some analysis. A good data scientist now is going to ask the question, what kind of analysis is actually going to assist the team? Is it basic statistics? Is it daily or weekly trends? Is it forecasting? Is it predictions? Is it segmentation? The aim of the data scientist is to solve the problem. After the data scientist decides that segmentation is the way to go, for example, then the data scientist will turn these raw data into insights like these ones over here by using tools like SQL, Python, and Power BI. And the important feature here is this ability to solve problems and turn data into insights, not writing code in Python or SQL or building dashboards or using data tools. It's the ability to solve problems and turn data into insights. Everyone can write code, but not everyone can solve problems with code. Which brings us to the second feature, which is a good data scientist is more concerned about his or her solutions and the impact and value that is going to bring to the business versus the tools and techniques that he or she will have to use. Some data scientists get caught up in deciding what tools to use or what analysis to use or what machine learning models to use and spend hours in infinite loops of analyzing, changing variables and rerunning models and generally chasing for the perfect solution with the best accuracy or the minimum loss. A good data scientist understands that there is never going to be a perfect solution. You just have to solve the problem efficiently based on the resources and the time availability you have and effectively solving the problem to a degree that adds value to the business and makes an impact. And this impact is what good data scientists are concerned of. They want their solutions to be used in the business and they want decisions to be made based on their solutions. For example, a good data scientist is not going to be concerned about all of this. It's one, it's going to be the raw data and it's ten, it's going to be the impact to the business, not the tools and the processes. As today it could be Python and R and machine learning, but tomorrow it could be something else. Right, and my last point is that a good data scientist is someone who does not use machine learning as an answer in every single problem. Instead, a good data scientist wants to find the right applications of machine learning. Basically, try not to force machine learning in every data set. Once you work with real-life data problems, you will soon realize that not all problems require machine learning. You will have to be open when you're facing real life data problems and not go for machine learning as the answer to everything. First, you need to understand the problem at hand, then define the requirements for the solution to the problem and only then decide which tools and techniques are best fit for this task. A recent example here is predictions around coronavirus numbers. If you search in YouTube, coronavirus machine learning predictions, you will find a lot of videos from major channels that use machine learning on this specific problem, which makes no sense, or at least I cannot think of a way that machine learning can solve this problem. 
Some videos use linear regression or support vector regressor to make predictions which is wrong again as it's just lines if you understand how machine learning predictions work. Some others use recurring neural networks or ARIMA or PROFIT or any other time series model to predict coronavirus numbers which again it does not make sense if you really know how these models work or what do they do. They model the past to give you a prediction about the future, which is not the case with the coronavirus dataset. Another example is that someone asked me to use logistic regression to make predictions of coronavirus. Again, this makes no sense as logistic regression predicts a class. Instead, a good data scientist that understands this problem and the data available will have to come up with a custom model that uses business logic and rules versus machine learning. An example of this is the coronavirus prediction model I made a couple of weeks ago, which you can go and check it out. I'm going to have the links in the video description. Right data friends, this is the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video. And if you feel like you did, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you have different views about what makes a good data scientist, then please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.